What's going on Rapid Nation? Today's video, the Iraq update and see what's out there, what's being said, maybe some rumors. Welcome to all of you new subscribers to this channel. Make sure you like this video, click on that bell icon so you get updated when I publish future videos. Rapid Updates is all about more news and less BS. No analysis, paralysis, no decoding of articles. Just updating you on the news on Iraq and sharing my thoughts. Let's get rapid. Hey, before I start off with some Iraq news, I'd like to share with you some information on Zimbabwe. This article came to my attention. I figured there's probably a lot of you who hold Zimbabwe notes. And if you do, comment below. Other people probably like want to talk with you. If you're still optimistic about Zimbabwe, let us know in the comments below. This article was found in Bitcoin.com. New crypto aims to solve Zimbabwe's money problems using blockchain technology. This entrepreneur came up with the Zimbo Cash, is called a decentralized currency that and payments platform for all Zimbabweans to be launched as an alternative payment method that will coexist with the fiat currency. And he goes through answering these questions from this reporter from the BCN, and he's calling it of some sort of a sound money, sound money that there's only so much in supply, unlike fiat currencies, which can just be printed, which pretty much caused the collapse back in 2008 of the Zimbabwe dollar because of hyperinflation and printing of money. It sounds familiar, doesn't it? The reporter from BCN asked, many central banks in Africa are studying or are preparing to launch central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. In your opinion, are the central banks capable of issuing a successful or functional CBDC? CBDC, he answers, do not use the principles of the blockchain to fix the money supply. These CBDCs will all be linked to global CBDCs as a result of a global control of transaction. In a world where all transactions are digital and governments are around, around the world will resort to rampant money printing. It is a major global risk right now and our goal is to resolve this issue in Zimbabwe by fixing the supply of money using blockchain technology. They asked, do you see the CBDC as a right solution for Zimbabwe's currency problems? He says, in many ways, the RTGS dollar, which is currently Zimbabwe's form of currency right now, has been a form of the central bank digital currency. The two key issues are, can a CBDC be used to establish sound money where no one can increase the money supply? And can a CBDC be created that isn't ultimately controlled by offshore powers? Great answer. Are Zimbabweans ready for digital currency? Zimbabweans are more than ready for digital currency. RTGS dollars is digital and the people have had much needed practice for using current mobile wallets such as Ego Cash and One Money. We are seeing lots of excitement about Zimbo Cash system, and we believe we have the opportunity to establish something really unique in the world. So I want to bring this to your attention. If you still think these old trillion dollar Zimbabwe notes are going to be value to you, comment below. If the world is moving to CBDC, which can be controlled and more zeros can be added to it, meaning more digital currency can be printed, won't more people realize that the blockchain which with a fixed money supply will be more valuable to them in the future? Something to think about. Let's get on with Iraq. I reported on this in a past video. Iraq is wasting $7.5 billion annually as a result of burning associated gas. It's just because they don't have the technology, the infrastructure to capture and harness this gas coming out of the ground to fix their electricity crisis. They have to import it from Iran. But thank goodness they're about to cap this natural gas so they can use it and actually gain revenue from this mind-blowing iraq burns and wastes 6.9 million dollars worth of natural gas per day that's astonishing to me iraq's natural gas reserves are estimated at 126 trillion cubic feet the country still imports natural gas from iran do you think iraq would be having these problems today do you think their currency exchange rate would be at it where it's at today if they didn't fix this problem decades ago so the bottom line is their goal is to dispense with oil as a fuel in electric power plants. In the year 2025, we will have nothing known as crude oil to be used in the production of electrical power because they're going to switch it over to natural gas. 
Ta-da! Also, Iraq's going to benefit from OPEC. Hopefully, they'll keep fixed price for oil through the next year of 2022. Also, the productions for Iraq because of OPEC asking them to increase oil production in October by 4,000 barrels per day. I must mention that this is in addition to the 3.4 million barrels per day that the Kurdistan region and the rest of Iraq region exports on a daily basis. And this is through OPEC Plus. It's an alliance of OPEC. So they have the agreement with OPEC and then they have the additional agreement with OPEC Plus. Moving on to the elections coming up October 10th. The question is, will Maliki be able to run for prime minister and then this article that i read when it was translated now i am unable to translate it it states that maliki will not be able to run for prime minister and he says this he says that the electoral law limits him from running for prime minister based on the law itself um, and it doesn't stay exactly why but he can get a seat he can be voted in for one of the seats. There's only 369 seats, I believe. He may get a seat, but all the votes, there's 329 seats. He may get the seat, but any votes that he receives will be thrown out. It didn't really go into explicit detail about it, but just want you to know that that's what this article is saying. And, and rest assured, he cannot run for prime minister. Hey, I want to take a moment to pause here with this update and just talk about the CBI.IQ website. If you're new to all of this and you're wondering if there's been a rate change, if you're listening to other gurus, other content creators that are talking about the Iraqi dinar and you're wondering about rates, listen, there's one website that you can check daily. It's called CBI.IQ. It's the Central Bank of Iraq's website and scroll all the way down. And here is the exchange rate to the US dollar or choose your currency. And you can see here it's 1460.000 to one US dollar. At any time you are hearing any news about the exchange rate, you come to this website. This will set you straight. This will keep you grounded. This will keep you on the straight and narrow path in the Iraqi dinar investment. Listen, there are rumors out there ever since this whole investment started decades ago. I'm hearing right now currently the RV has started. Really? What is your proof? Question them. How do you know this? It's like this every weekend. Every week. The 800 numbers are coming out. Why do you think there's the 800 numbers? Do you really think there's the 800 numbers? Or do they want you keep coming back to their weekly calls because they say that the banks are going to give them the 800 numbers and they know that you are afraid to miss out? Think about it. Rumors that the bank said it's this coming week. Okay, show me some documentation on this. Why don't you bring the banker onto your show so they can tell us documentation beats conversation how about we're being told that the rate of the vietnamese dong is on the bank screens the iraqi dinar iqd rate is on the back screens really okay all these years you've been talking about these back screens everybody has a cell phone how come no one's taking a screenshot of this how come when nobody's taking a video of this i would like to see some proof the redemption setters are standing by they're standing by They've been standing by for eight, nine, ten years. How long are they going to keep doing this? Sounds pretty ridiculous to me. Redemption centers. Is that like a, a pop-up Halloween outlet store at a vacant mall that went out of business and then they come in on a seasonal basis to sell Halloween costumes? Is that what a redemption center is? Sounds pretty classy to me. How about just trying out a bank? Okay, so moving forward, this is going to get really rapid because I've read through a lot of these articles. I'm just going to summarize it here for you. But everything else is kind of like a tweet. The Iraqi president is in America. He's at the UN summit. President Saleh, and he will be speaking. European Union delegation is deploying 80 observers to Iraq for the election process. 
OPEC agrees to hold its founding conference in Iraq next year. So it was supposed to be this year. They decided early of 2022 it's going to be held inside Iraq. And that's all you need to know at this point. UN AMI talks to Nas about the big project to monitor the Iraqi elections. This is the United Nations system operating inside Iraq. The mission of the United Nations mission to Iraq is to help Iraq implement fair, transparent elections. Point blank. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you not sure? Turns out Saleh did bump into Biden and they spoke on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly. And then Biden stresses U.S. commitment to Iraq's long term stability. To sum this up, they spoke. They talked about the elections coming up. They talked about the stability of Iraq and they talked about Pope Francis visit. If you remember this past summer, he visited several places inside Iraq. That's going to wrap up this rapid update video. I made it a bit a little bit long since I was away over the weekend. I promise those videos will become a little bit shorter. And just a reminder to all of you, never rely on one, never one, never one income stream, never one investment, never one. Stay grounded, stay rapid everybody.